All right, let's do this, everybody. Today, we're gonna talk about track workouts. Good morning, what's going on everybody? Dan the Ultra Dad here. I am heading over for my morning workout. Today I'm gonna to try doing a track workout. It's a little bit different for me um, as a trail and ultra runner, but if I'm training for a marathon, I have to start incorporating track work into my regimen. All right, so the plan today is to do um, a pretty easy track workout. Just trying to um, just start, start doing that more often, uh, work on the speed a little bit. So today we're gonna do a one mile warm up, and then the plan is to do 800 meter uh, race pace or sub race pace intervals with um, a one mile cool down. So real simple. Hey, ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast sticky, come get high with me, that's a deal, right? Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast sticky, come get high with me, that's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? Hey, coming down like precipitation. I ain't never met a limitation. Hate applying my elimination. Gotta go to Google for the information. I'm a superstar, so I gotta shine. Top dollar be the bottom line. Bottom feeding out of line. Turn your heart rate to a dotted line. Yeah, my zodiac probably dollar sign. Got the energy to win in my I'm feeling great. Got a date with destiny focusing on my fate. I don't give a fuck what you rapping, you been a fake. I'm everything that they ain't. It can't be, it won't be. Wanna see me fall, I can't go, I won't leave. Coming from the block with plain clothes and police. Straight up to the top with bank rolls and rollies. Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like. 550 on the fast sticky, come get high with me, that's a deal, right? Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like. 550 on the fast sticky, come get high with me, that's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? Hey, toil can't really stop. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Dan. I'm the Ultra Dad, and today we're going to be talking about track workouts. So, if you didn't know, I am training for my first road marathon. It's gonna be on May 1st. It is the Flying Pig Marathon in Cincinnati, Ohio uh, on May 1st again. 26.2 miles of sheer bliss on the roads. <laughs> if you can't tell, I'm more of a trail runner. I prefer being out in, in nature. I prefer that um, being on the trails, on dirt roads, on dirt trails. But I really think it's gonna be fun to, uh, to see what I can do on a marathon course. So that's what I'm tra training for right now. And yesterday I did my first track workout in a long while, uh, probably maybe a year, at least six months. Um, and so I, I went over to my local high school track and it was a very cold day yesterday. Uh, you know, I think it was, it wasn't as cold temperature wise, but the wind chill had me down, easily down into the twenties, if not the teens which is, you know, very cold for me. So so normally when I go to the track, uh, as I'm not really a road runner, not a marathon person, um, I don't do intervals or anything like that. I just typically go and run, you know, basically run laps around the track uh, for, for distance typically. But yesterday I decided to try something a little bit different. Uh, I went ahead and I planned out in the beginning what I would do, very simple, very, very simple workout. But I did some intervals, so I did a one mile warm up followed by uh, four 800 meter repeats with a 400 meter rest in between each repeat, and then I did a one mile cool down. So very simple track workout. Uh, I tried to keep the 800s, so originally I was going to do 800s with a 200 meter uh, break in between or rest in between each 800. 
but it turned out I really needed the 400 because I was quite tired after the 800 meter intervals. Um, each 800 meter interval, I was, uh, I think as you saw, uh, I was originally planning to do 5K pace. All that being said, basically my pace per 800 was about 6.30 to 6.45 uh, per 800. And that was more than enough for me to handle. Um, I was I was very tired, so I, I went ahead and did a 400 meter uh, rest after each 800 meter interval. Only four 800 meter intervals. You know, I kind of feel that like that's a little bit wimpy because it's just four. Uh, I think that the plan I saw online that was recommending this, these repeats and these intervals said six to eight but I definitely couldn't handle that yesterday. Maybe later on in the training block, uh, as I get closer to the marathon, I will certainly be increasing my interval work. But for yesterday, it was perfect. Um, it was pretty windy. So, like I said, the wind chill, it was pretty chilly. Especially, you know, you're going around on, on a track. So uh, three of the legs were great, uh, but then one of the legs going right up wind was very, very frigid. Uh, so, but it worked out just fine, and, and once I got started, it really wasn't that cold because I was I was working pretty hard on each of those intervals. Strava doesn't really like me hitting the interval button on my watch. It doesn't seem to pick up on that. So each interval, each 800 meter interval, let's see, the first two was about a 645, and then the last two was more like a 630, and I probably pushed it to a 620 on the final fourth uh, 800 meter interval. Those times are, are the one minute or are one mile pace times. So that's just a, a pace. Um, and I was only going a half mile for each of these intervals. So why do I think interval work is important? I mean, if you know anything about marathon training, um, I think you'd hear that, that you know speed work is important to get the turnover, get your legs turning over more quickly, uh, to get your body used to going at a faster pace. Um, I'm still doing lots of research or trying to at least um, about you know, trying to pick up details about what's good for a marathon training plan. But I think it definitely has its place in marathon training. So that's why I'm doing it. Um, again, the beginning of the training block here, just doing a little bit, probably once a week, maybe once every two weeks. And then as we get closer to the marathon itself, I'll be increasing the frequency of my interval track workouts. So anyway, if you have a lot more uh, experience with marathon training, definitely hit me up in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts on doing interval work and track work to get ready for your marathon. I'd love to hear about it because I'm very much a rookie at this. <laughs> so never run a road marathon before and I'm just trying to, like I said before, kind of uh, in a different video, trying to kind of put a Frankenstein training plan together and just uh, get the, you know, the, the good parts of different training plans and try to bring it together. Um, not too much pressure here. I know I'm not going to be, you know, a, a, a BQ guy. I'm not going to qualify for Boston. Um, certainly not going to be that fast, but uh, it's my first marathon. So we're going to give it a good shot and see how it goes. I'm looking forward to it. Thanks again for joining me today. If you like this channel, definitely hit that subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. Um, we'll have lots of content coming up this spring and summer. Uh, both marathon, road marathon, and of course my favorite, the ultra marathons. Uh, as the weather improves, it's going to be a lot of fun, and I'm looking forward to it. Love to have you along. That's all I got today. Have a good day, and we will catch you in the next one. Hey, 12 can't really stop. So I'm still pushing like a mosh pit. Ice dripping, think I'm hot in a yellow bucket with a mop stick. I've been